The Times is next, and uh, two morals to this next story. One is that uh, practice makes perfect, and two, science can be amazing, Eric. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, this is in The Times. Surgeons used a 3D model of, a, of an a infant's heart to practice saving her life. So this young girl, she was born premature, and she was so small. She was only, she, and her name was Pippa Fulton, and when she was born, she was four pound, 10 ounces. Um, I don't know what that is in kilograms, because uh, I'm American and- Two. Yeah, I mean, Roughly. that makes yeah. me Canadian if I say kilograms, and they're not popular right now. But um, Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, yes, they are. <laughs> they're the but, good guys. Anyway, back to but, this. Um, yeah, so she was born premature um, last August, and so she was so small, she had problems in her arteries. But to operate at that level, they were, you know, obviously concerned because she's this tiny little thing. So they printed a 3D version of her heart which they'd obviously been able to, you know, build with scans and I guess infra, not infrared, but um, uh, ultrasounds and so on. And the printer printed it out so they could practice on doing it. And she's been able to go home recently. And they, so, they practiced operating on the 3D model for six months, yeah, I gather. Yeah, it was absolutely incredible. Talk so, about I mean, dedication. Yeah. And if you can print a 3D model of body parts like that, I would like to know what other body parts... Like a little, just to get rid of the bed, like a, like a. Like Think a of all the pack. young men who could discover where of... essential things are located. And uh, uh, anyway, what, did you have any thoughts of this on this story, Diane? Oh, I just think it's, it's. I think it's a very wonderful story, and I think it's amazing how um, science has come together. Uh, science and medicine have kind of created this thing. Because obviously I, I know people who have 3D printers and they use them for all sorts of incredible things and they sort of, but mainly they make props like sci-fi oh. props and things like that. But um, this is so intense and fiddly and tiny and just wonderful. What I, she had a juxtaposition of the atriums in her little heart and I kind of hope that one day she sort of grows up and becomes some kind of artist or interior designer mm. and sort of says, this is my juxtaposition of my atriums. Like, just like, just a little wink, because, you know, I just, I just wish the best for this to keep the model of the it's gonna be, It's going to be uh, the Tate. There'll be an exhibition yeah. called The Juxtaposition of Atriums.